Washington State looks beautiful in photographs, but experiencing it in person is even more amazing. The grandeur of the mountains, the mysterious foggy atmosphere of the beaches, and the unique wildlife will make you feel peaceful and invigorated at the same time. Welcome to part three of our great Washington State adventure, where we explore ocean shores, do some epic hikes at Mount Rainier National Park, and go searching for whales in Puget Sound. Good morning and welcome to our channel. Today we're starting off the day at Ocean Shores, Washington. We woke up to the beautiful sound of seagulls going <coughs> and then we walked to the beach which was the coldest beach ever. It's so cold that I'm crying. <laughs> and now we're going to go to Mount Rainier National Park. We're going to take our time driving there and see what we can find along the way. So thanks for joining us on this journey today. We hope you enjoy and please subscribe. Yeah. Beach, so <laughs> How did we get there? Smack that way. And this is such a cute idea for recycling. It's a can and bottle fish. So this is Ocean Shores Beach. And it is the coldest beach I've ever been to ever. And I used to live in Long Island and go to the beach there in the winter. <laughs> uh, I guess that this is just a very cold, cold place all year. I can't imagine because it's like, this is the hottest it gets, right? <laughs> so <laughs> if you live in Washington, come to Puerto Rico to enjoy a tropical beach. <laughs> Before heading out on our drive to Mount Rainier National Park, we grab some amazing donuts at Ocean Shores Donuts. As we head out of town, we make a quick stop at the beautiful North Jetty near the Oyhut Wildlife Recreation Area. This scenic landscape features grassy dunes and a large jetty. If you want to climb on the rocks, this is an amazing place to watch for seals. To our surprise, we actually found an adorable family of harbor seals, which you can see in these most excellent photographs. The drive from Ocean Shores to Mount Rainier is about three hours long, and it's a super fun road trip because you get to pass through some enchanting small towns. The first one we stop in is Montesano to have a spectacular fresh fish lunch at the Fish and Hole. We're having lunch at a wonderful restaurant called the Fish and Hole in Montesano, Washington. And we just kind of saw this restaurant on Google Maps and decided to stop in. And we're so glad we did because this fish is spectacular. This is a lightly breaded rainbow trout with like a dill um, infused breading. And it's the fish is so fresh and so light and lovely that even Gabby liked it. He said it's the best fish he's ever had. And Gabby's not a fish guy. So this restaurant is amazing. If you're in the area, it's kind of near Aberdeen should definitely go. Next, we make a quick unplanned stop in Elma to enjoy some local culture. So we're just driving through rural Washington and we found a car show. So we parked and we're just going to check it out. This show is called the Heat on the Street Car and Motorcycle Show. It's an impressive collection of classic cars. And it's so nice to watch how the whole community comes together to have fun and celebrate history in a family-friendly environment.
exit and then we ended up in the city of Alma and found a car show. So we got to experience the local culture and that's what a road trip is all about. As you get closer to Mount Rainier, you get to enjoy the beautiful pine tree forests lining the road. Since we'll be staying in a cabin really close to the park, we decide to start exploring and do a sunset hike on one of the most popular trails, the Skyline Trail. The views on the way to this trail leave us breathless. Alpine lakes, glaciers, and marvelous mountain views make this one of the prettiest drives in the United States. I'm glad I don't have to keep my eyes on the road, since Gabby's driving. We made it to beautiful Mount Rainier National Park. Right now we're at Paradise Inn and we're gonna hike a little bit of the Skyline Trail to get some great views of Mount Rainier. It's pretty rainy right now, but we're still gonna have a great time and see some beautiful views. We start out our hike with a pretty cloudy and overcast sky. We take a gamble starting up the mountain in the middle of a drizzling rain, but eventually it clears up. Since the weather scared away most of the tourists, we end up having this whole magical landscape to ourselves. We're hiking up the Skyline Trail and this view of Mount Rainier is amazing. It's a little bit of sad that it's raining and so foggy that we can't see the whole thing, but the, uh, the whole experience is so beautiful. The wildflowers are so vibrant and we've seen some, yeah, we saw a really cute marmot and a bunch of really fat chipmunks. <laughs> the views of Mount Rainier from this trail with the fabulous blue and pink wildflowers in the foreground will make you feel like you're in a fantasy landscape. The blue and white glaciers even feature beautiful waterfalls. The Skyline Trail is famous for its wildflowers and we are blessed to experience them at their peak in July. The trail itself is a grand adventure. The initial incline from Paradise Inn is very steep and a great workout. Once you get to the rocky trail, the hike gets easier and the views make all your effort totally worth it. While the Skyline Trail forms a large seven mile loop, you can hike as much as you want and turn back when you get tired. This trail is an absolute paradise for photographers and nature lovers. I truly believe this area is one of the top three most beautiful places in the United States. Viewing the grandeur of this landscape and breathing in the fresh pure air is truly a spiritual experience. We made it to Glacier Point on the Skyline Trail. It was the most beautiful hike I've ever taken in my entire life. And we got so lucky because the rain stopped right as we got to the top. And we have this beautiful clear view of Mount Rainier. Now we're going to head back down the trail and go to our hotel for a well-deserved rest. And in, early in the morning, we're going to try to do the Bench and Snow Lakes Trail. Isn't it amazing? <sighs> we hope that you enjoyed watching this hike as much as we enjoyed doing it. After hiking to Glacier Vista, we decide to head back since it's getting pretty dark. Although I have a hard time tearing myself away from this enchanting landscape, Gabby reminds me that we can't stay forever and we need to get some rest. Tonight we're staying in a cabin in the Gateway Inn in Ashford, right outside the gates of Mount Rainier National Park. Good morning! We got up super early at 5 a.m. and we are going to start the Bench and Snow Lakes Trail right now. This is a perfect time to go to the park because the light is beautiful and we've got one of the very few parking spots um, right at the beginning of this trail. <laughs> Looks like there's going to be a lot of bugs but a lot of beautiful views too. So we're super excited to do this hike today, so we hope that you enjoy it. The 
The Bench and Snow Lake Trail is a moderately difficult trail that gives you outstanding views of two alpine lakes. This trail is not very long, but it's a great workout because it features some very steep stairs. To get to Bench Lake, you need to scramble down a very steep, muddy incline. I basically ended up rolling down it because I'm so short. We made it to Bench Lake, the first lake on this hike, and the views of Mount Rainier reflected in the water are magnificent. We're so lucky this morning we're the only people at the lake right now and we even got to see the sunrise. This is something that I will never forget. With you and I, the future is This is Snow Lake at the end of the Bench and Snow Lakes Trail. This is not an easy hike unless you're an athlete, but it's so worth it. The views of the mountain here are just so spectacular. The Snow Lake gives you a gorgeous view of the mountain from a totally different perspective than the Skyline Trail we did yesterday. We would have loved to stay longer exploring other trails in Mount Rainier National Park, but unfortunately, since Gabby doesn't have many vacation days this summer, we have to hit the road. If you've been to Mount Rainier, leave a comment below to tell us what trails we should check out on our next visit. So we're leaving Mount Rainier and we stayed at the Gateway Inn, which was really cool because it was literally right at the entrance, the Nisqually entrance of the park. And we definitely want to come back to Mount Rainier because we only got to spend like 24 hours here basically. And there's so many other beautiful sights to see. And as we're leaving town, we got some delicious Rainier cherries, which are super sweet. we head back to Seattle to return our rental car, then take an Uber up north to the Port of Edmonds to take a whale watching tour. Now to finish off our awesome Washington trip, we're going to do some whale watching at Puget Sound Express. This is going to be super fun. After we embark, I rush to get a seat outside, but quickly find that it's way colder out on the water than on the shore. The guides at Puget Sound Express are very knowledgeable and provide a fun and educational experience. They point out bald eagles, many harbor seals, and a big elephant seal on a little island. I have a ton of fun photographing these cool animals with my long lens. Unfortunately, we don't actually see a whale, but the other animals are all very interesting. The guides explain that the whales had crossed into Canadian waters that day, and Canada had completely closed its border due to COVID. However, the company gave us a voucher for another trip, so if anyone wants it, give us a holler. Washington Adventure left us with a deep feeling of peace and interconnectedness with nature. Travel is so powerful because it shows you how gorgeous the whole world is and allows you to experience other cultures. Travel clears your mind, fills your heart, and refreshes your soul. Thank you so much for watching and see you on our next adventure. 
Okay, it's very windy. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> Good morning and welcome to our channel. This morning we are in... Wait, wait what is it called? <laughs> okay. Good morning and welcome to our channel. Today we're in Ocean Shores, Washington, where it's a 100% chance of clouds and 90% chance of fog. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Hello and welcome to our channel. This morning we're starting the day in Ocean Shores, Washington, perhaps the coldest beach ever. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm so cold I'm crying. Okay. <laughs> okay. 